Hello, everyone, and welcome to the SAS Via Release Highlight Show, our first one for 2025. I'm Tiago de Souza, and today's show will focus on causal AI in SAS Via. Our expert, Guncha Walton, will tell us how you can use SAS Via to integrate causal AI into your business decisions. But before we get into that, David Vike is back to show us some of his favorite new features, including edit tables in view mode in SAS Visual Analytics, annotations for columns in SAS Information Catalog, decision tree node details in SAS Visual Analytics, workflow association in SAS Intelligent Decisioning, plus new steps in SAS Studio. I think it's time to dive into the SAS Viaverse. Hello, and welcome back. Let's take a look at what's new with SAS Via 2024.12. We can edit tables in viewing modes. We have a cool new capability in intelligent decisioning, and of course, new steps and so much more. So let's get right into it. As I said, we are starting things off today inside of SAS Visual Analytics. And please note that we have the editing mode disabled in a viewing the report. In an earlier video, we talked about the capability that you now can edit cast tables right from Visual Analytics. But to access that functionality, you had to be in editing mode. Now, if you have the capability and if you are allowed to edit a specific table, you can now edit it right from viewing mode by going to this menu and then hitting the view source table, selecting the table that you want to edit, and then a pop-up will appear where you get all the editing capabilities that we talked about in a previous video. As an example here, let's just introduce um, the SAS job. Oops. And then hit save. Save. And say yes. And now, when we wait a second, and here is our new updated table right in the viewing mode. Awesome, no, switch, no need to switch between modes now. In addition, when you are working with decision trees, a new capability has been added, and you can see that if I hover over a specific leaf or node within my decision tree, you can now see loan at the bottom. And that is done if you are now going into the editing mode and selecting the decision tree model, um, you can see we have now node details and that will sum use summary variables. In this case, I have a summarization on my loan variable and they will be added to the details of each node. This is a great capability to help you understand how the data moves um, or how the decision would be moved based on that variable as well to see that impact. Let's switch gear and move over to intelligent decisioning where we have an awesome new feature that will help elevate your capabilities when it comes to model ops or decision ops. When we go to create a new decision, we can now associate a workflow with that decision directly and that will select the available workflows and give them to you. Here, I'm gonna say the sample decision approval one, hit save, and now this will be adding this specific workflow and all its possible tasks directly to this decision. And you can see this on the top right that I have this workflow now. I can start it, hit start, and now the workflow will start working. I can now see there is a task available that I can start to claim for myself, release, and work through that workflow. If you're wondering how this is done, we are going to go to the main menu, select Manage Workflows, and now we are inside of the Workflow Manager. The important part for the variables that, or the the flows that we can use is that we have here um, the SAS decisions and that they are of the type um, intelligent decisioning. The client is SAS intelligent decisioning so that they can show up and integrate with intelligent decisioning. Dig into the details, but this is an awesome capability to help you level up your decision ops game. 
And we are finishing things off inside of SAS Studio where we have two new steps. One is a gradient boosting step that allows us to build out gradient boosting models, score the data, save the model that we created, um, all the fun stuff that you can do with boosting. And we have a confidence interval statistical power step that you can also make use of. And here you can view the results as I scroll through them um, to quickly work with that capability. I hope you enjoyed this month's update and see you next time. Bye bye. That was our good friend David Vike with his Into the SaaS Viaverse segment. What do you think about the features he highlighted? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So, decision making is a crucial aspect of any business. A modern way to improve decision making is by integrating causal AI, which is something that can be integrated into SaaS Via. It's different than generative AI or other types of AI because it looks for a deeper level of explainability and reduces bias. Our causal AI expert is Gunchao Walton for this month's release talk interview. Hi, Gunja. Welcome back to the show. It's been a while. Last time you were here, you talked to us about Batting Lab. But today, you're here about causal AI. I've been hearing a lot about it. Can you tell us what it is and why it's important? Yes, uh, certainly. We all know that at the nexus of business and technology, there is no harder topic than the transformative potential of machine learning and AI. However, when it comes to decision making, which relies on answering the what if question, such as what would happen to employment if the minimum wage is increased, it's important to understand what a machine learning model can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. They are great at classifying complex things like text, speech, and photos, or predicting website traffic tomorrow. They are great at finding patterns in data and associating outcomes with patterns. However, they are not so good at distinguishing between correlation and causation. Mm -hmm. In other words, determining whether the connection between statistically linked patterns is coincidental or the result of some cause and effect force. Failing to make this distinction between causation and correlation can be costly to businesses. Mm -hmm. This is where causal AI comes into play and this is why it's important. Mm, yes, the age old question of correlation versus causation, that's where causal AI comes in. So what exactly is causal AI? Causality is the uh, causal science that has been around for a long time. It provides the methods and tools for identifying the cause and measuring the effect. Causal AI is the application of these techniques to machine learning and AI models. So this intermarriage, so to speak, solves the shortcomings of the two disciplines when they are used to make decisions. Mm -hmm. Machine learning and AI can overcome several technical difficulties, such as having a large number of discrete or continuous potential covariates or, uh, or unknown nonlinear relationships among the covariates, the outcome and treatment assignment that you may have in your model. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, causal analysis provides a structure through its models and methods to answer uh, interventional questions or what if questions, like if I make a change, what will the outcome be? Mm. Uh, these can't be answered by machine learning models alone. Right, you need a little something more there. So how would someone typically use causal AI? Organizations need to understand which interventions are most effective at specific points in time. Causal AI provides actionable insights into the cause and effect relationships. Because of this, it has many real world applications in a variety of in industries. Mm. Um, in sales, the insights from causal AI can help identify customer pain points uh, or to provide a more personalized experience for customers. It can help to learn click through rates in healthcare, it can be used to learn the effects of treatments on patients. Mm. In finance, it can be used to analyze investment risks. In manufacturing, it can be used to find the cause of uh, production line failures, for example. Mm. Uh, another important application area, which is uh, really important, is the government. It can be used to establish more effective public policies. Well, lots of industries there, healthcare, sales, finance. It's a lot that causal AI can, can jump into and, 
an offer. But what does SaaS offer specifically when it comes to causal AI? Yes. In causal modeling, we build something called a causal graph, also known as DAG or directed acyclic graph. Uh, they are an efficient way of explaining the mechanism behind what's happening in nature. Uh, for example, you may have two variables, say a smoking indicator and a lung cancer indicator. A graph of an arrow from the node representing smoking to the node representing lung cancer is a DAG. Of course, this would be a very simple DAG, uh, and real-life applications have more complicated DAGs. Mm. This graph encodes the causal model. Sometimes the causal graph is known thanks to human domain knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is not, Causal AI offers techniques to learn about those uh, causal graphs from data. We call this process causal discovery. Mm -hmm. In SAS Via, uh, you can use the causal discovery procedure for, well, causal discovery. Uh, the causal discovery procedure performs a DAG structure learning from data. Once you learn the DAG, you can use it as the primary input to the causal graph procedure, also available in SAS via. The causal, the causal graph procedure, what is that? Yeah, the causal graph procedure can help with selecting the adjustment set to eliminate confounding. In other words, you can use uh, the causal graph procedure to determine which covariates in a causal model you must control in order to estimate a treatment effect that has a valid causal interpretation. Mm -hmm. The next step is to estimate these causal models accurately. So we know, for example, the effect of giving a drug to a patient within certain bounds. Mm -hmm. uh, this estimation process is called causal inference. SAS via offers numerous causal inference methods for estimating causal effects for non-randomized data. Mm -hmm. These causal inference methods include, for example, causal mediation analysis methods to uh, estimate direct, indirect, and various causal mediation effects, methods for estimating average treatment uh, effect by propensity score weighting, mm -hmm. outcome regression methods, stratification methods, Bayesian additive regression trees, or BART, for binary and continuous response or outcome variables, uh, doubly robust methods using DNNs to learn the causal effect of binary or continuous treatment or, or uh, policy variables. Mm -hmm. uh, if you'd like to combine the strength of multiple of these models into a single robust model, then you can use the super learner procedure, also available in SAS via. As you can tell, the causal AI techniques in SAS via provides an end-to-end -end robust causal analysis. Oh, hot dag. That was a lot of information. We have causal discovery, causal inference. And I love the name super learners. It makes me think of superheroes. Um, another question I have for you is why should our users be excited to try out causal AI in SAS via? So many reasons uh, to start with. The causal discovery algorithms in SAS via are not only accurate, but also very fast for finding the causal graph or DAG. The DAG structure learning problem is NP hard which means that the searching space of DAG, DAGs is super exponential with respect to the number of variables. For example, mm. if you have two variables, the number of possible DAGs is three. If you have three variables, the number of DAGs is 25. If you have six variables, then the number of possible DAGs comes close to four million. Wow. <laughs> Uh, the causal discovery procedure can find the correct DAG in 10 to 15 seconds in a case where there are 100 variables. 10 to 15 seconds. Wow, that's really fast. That is very fast. Um, besides estimating causal graph of the underlying data set, you can evaluate the accuracy of the estimated causal graph. Also, you can use it to simulate a causal graph and generate samples based on the simulated causal graph. SAS via has a very wide, wide variety of models and techniques for causal inference. Uh, the, causal, uh, the, the deep causal and uh, deep price procedures use a doubly robust technique. Uh, without making any specifications, they learn the unknown functions of the model from data directly by using DNNs. They estimate the effect of the treatment variable on the outcome without a bias. 
This proven technique is very new in the literature and to my knowledge, not available in the market, at least not to the level that we tested it. Moreover, um, the deep causal and deep price procedures have various decision systems beside uh, causal inference to answer complicated questions like what kind of intervention I should make to achieve a certain goal. Mm -hmm. This is called policy analysis. This, this way you can, for example, apply personalized pricing mm -hmm. or design individualized policies. As I mentioned, SASVIA offers many models and techniques for causal inference. If you consider multiple models with different specifications, then with the super learner procedure, you can combine them into a single robust model. This way you can leverage the strengths of these candidate models to learn the complex relationships between the variables mm -hmm. and reduce the risk of overfitting or Model, uh, model misfication. So there is a lot to be excited about. Yeah, sounds like it. And like you said, part of this isn't available in the market yet. As you, you heard it here first, you know. So how can people start using causal AI if they wanted to? Where can they learn more? Yes. As I mentioned, uh, all our causal AI offering is available in SAS VIA. The best place to start is the SAS VIA website. People also can check out uh, SAS Visual Statistics and SAS Econometrics websites, mm -hmm. uh, where they can they have the access to the documentations of these, these software to, to gain more knowledge about the procedures that I mentioned and the ones that I didn't mention. Uh, there are also many applications there which can be uh, very intuitive. Another helpful uh, resource is the SAS Data Science blog. Mm -hmm. uh, they can find high-level information and easy-to-follow applications there. Yes, definitely good resources. I love the Data Science blog. I'm on there all the time. Thank you, Gunchev, for the scoop on Causal AI. And if you want to learn more about Causal AI and, and econometrics, we'll have plenty of content at SAS Innovate. You're welcome. What's SAS Innovate, you may ask? Well, it's our premier data and AI conference for business leaders, technical users, and SaaS partners. We'll have inspiring keynote speakers like Brene Brown, SaaS CEO, Dr. Jim Goodnight, Alfonso Ribeiro, and DJ Jazzy Jeff. You'll have access to the incredible innovation hub, practical hands-on workshops, insightful breakout sessions, networking, and much, much more. It's all happening from May 6th through May 9th in Orlando, Florida. Visit sas.com slash innovate to learn more and to register. I'll be there, and I hope to see you there too. Well, we've reached the end of our show. Now's a great time to give us a like and subscribe to the SaaS Users YouTube channel and click that bell so you'll get notified for new videos. Until then, comment on what topics you'd like to see in future shows. I've been your host, Tiago de Souza. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.